I always come away from this energized and rejuvenated, and I always feel like I have learned something and have deepened my relationship with God. So it's it's unlike anything else I've ever been a part of. Jenny Dickerson did not expect to start hosting church in her living room and not going to a sanctuary. But when she met the people of Peace Tree United Methodist near Memphis, Tennessee, she knew it was a good fit. It's been such a blessing to me to open my house um, to everyone. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this night and the chance to come together. In 2015, the Reverend Christopher Roof launched Peace Tree United Methodist, which has no church building. Instead, there are meetups in apartments and restaurants almost every night of the week. I really just felt like God was calling me to do something that was ancient but modern. I saw that established traditional churches uh, were not reaching certain people. We circulate around people's homes and everybody gets a chance to host, everybody gets a chance to lead worship, uh, but we're very much trying to be uh, with the people and trying to meet them where they are. Participants aren't expected to come every night, but they are encouraged to stay connected. In college, you don't want to get up every Sunday and go to church. like. So you're one, one of two days to sleep, so you just having the opportunity to do something during the week is always great. Get-togethers always center around food, fellowship, and communion. You just take a moment as we prepare for this meal. Acts 2.42 says that they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Uh, so it's really important for us to eat at every one of our house group meetings. It's important that we pray for one another. It's important that we take communion as often as possible. The body of Christ broken for you. Blood of Christ shed for you. Community service is also a focus of every gathering. Projects have included raising money for clean water in Haiti, visiting firefighters and first responders, making blankets for hospice patients, and gathering for a blessing of the animals. Tonight, for example, we're baking cookies for the prison ministry to help just lift the spirits of people who are currently incarcerated in their families. History is really trying really hard to make an impact on the community, and I love being a part of that. So it's one step at a time, it's one house at a time, uh, but really it's one disciple at a time, and I think we're finding people that felt lost, and they have a place here. If you do it out of order, then it's going to taste weird and probably be flat and Sorry stick the to the tray and not be good. It's all right if the cookies don't turn out right, guys. We're just here for fellowship. <laughs> This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.